welcome to Sarah's Stamp and Retreat. Today I'm going to be creating a window card using this large floral from the Inky Bouquet stamp set from Altenew. I'm doing this for the Seasonal Sewing Builders class that's part of my Altenew Certified Educator program. I'm not going to talk really about the class or the program because I've talked about that in previous videos but I'll leave links below just in case you want to go take a look at them at all. So for this card, I've got a five inch square card made of Nina Solar White cardstock. So it's all Nina Solar White. And then I've got this frame. So this is about four and three quarter inches square. And I've cut some windows out of this. So I've used this die here from this Squarey Swirly Hearts die set from Polka Doodles. But any two inch square die would do. And I've just cut that out four times to create a window frame. Then this piece is just an eighth of an inch smaller than this piece so that it will fit behind it. So I'm going to use my Jet Black Altenew ink to ink up this large floral. Now I always think when you're using a large stamp just make sure that your ink pad's nice and juicy. And I'm just going to stamp that right in this corner. I'm going to let it go off the card a little bit as well. So we've got that there. And then if we place that over, you kind of see it comes up through the window. And then I want to stamp it again. This time I'm going to stamp it on some um, masking sheet. This is um, some Sticks 2 masking sheet. But a lot of brands do this. It doesn't need to be a certain brand. So if you've got some in your stash, use that. Now I'm just going to cut this out. And I'm going to cut it right on the line. We want this to be cut out really nicely because otherwise um, the blending that we're going to do in a minute won't go right up to the line of the stamping. So just here where that's got a little stem, I'm actually just going to cut that stem off and I'm going to cut out the um, leaf separately. And then as I go along, I can just stick these bits over the pieces that I've stamped on my card. I've got all my little bits on and I'm now going to place this main mask over here. So I'm just being careful to line up all the sections. So you'll notice I've not masked off these little flowers down here, mainly because I didn't want to cut out oh, those tiny bits. So I'm just going to blend over that, it's going to colour those flowers and then I'll just put some alcohol marker over the top and we'll deal with it. So I'm going to do some ink blending. So I've got this Minty Mint from Altenew first. And I'm just rubbing on in a circular motion and then I'm just going to go over this bottom part with this colour. And then I'm going to take a bit of this sweet leaf and I'm just going to blend that just around the actual flower. So I've got a slightly darker colour just around the flower. Now I'm just going to make sure that it's got no green left on it. See that's coming out quite um, clean. So then I'm going to take my Arctic Altenew ink. And I'm going to start from the top with my Arctic. And the Arctic is a very, very pale blue. So you need a few layers to be able to see it. And then I'm going to take my Caribbean Sky. And I'm going to blend round the flower. And all the way up to the Arctic. And then I'm going to come in with the Persian blue and this is much darker so I'm just going to blend this just around the flower. 
and it'll just help make that flower pop a bit. So then I'm done with the blending. I'm just going to take off my mask. And then as I take off the bits off my mask, I'm just going to pop them onto um, the packaging for my stamp. And then I'll have them for next time. So it does take a small amount of time to make these masks. So it saves both time and masking sheet if you put them back on and use them again. So you can see now that my flower is completely surrounded by the colour but doesn't have any colour on it. And then I'm just going to use this Island Garden set of Alter New Markers to colour it in. So I'm going to start with the greens for the leaves. So I've got Minty Mint is the lightest colour. And then I've got Sweet Leaf. So those are actually the two colours I use down here. Just green and hunter green. So I'm going to go from lightest to darkest. Send the Sweet Leaf. Now I'm just going to add in a few accents with the just green. And then I'm going to go right over, back over the top with my minty mint. Just want to show you as well, so these have two ends. They've got this chisel nib and this brush nib. They're nice to use and they don't roll about on your surface too much because they're triangular. So then I'm going to use these blues. I've got ultramarine, iceberg and eastern sky and actually I might just use the iceberg and the eastern sky and I've just flat coloured everything with the iceberg and then I'm going to go in and add a bit of definition with the eastern sky I'm going in the middles with Hartley just a little dot so then for the other flowers, I've got Pink Pearl, Coral Bliss, Heartbeat and Vineyard Berry. And I'm just going to lay flat colour first and then build up. foam strips from Stampin' Up and I'm just going to place that around this window and if at this point you wanted to make it look like a real window or if you wanted to make it into a shaker card then just be sure to put some acetate on here first and then you've got that kind of shine for the window or something to hold all the bits in if you want to make a shaker card but I'm not using it for that today. And probably if I did this again, I'd move this down to this corner of it so you can see this green here. Maybe add a bit more here as well. But other than that, I'm really happy with that. So then I'm going to go with this The World is Lucky to Have You sentiment, which I should have really stamped before I um, put the card together. But at the time, I was thinking that I was going to have a, a sentiment popping up. But I think I actually want it just to fit in here. So I'm just going to have to hope this turns out good, otherwise I'll have to cover it up. Oh, that was lucky, it turned out just perfect. So then I'm just going to 
pop some glue on the back of here. And then I can just pop that on my card frame. So there's today's card finished. I really hope you enjoyed today's project. If you did, I'd appreciate you clicking like below. And you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future projects. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will also notify you when I've got new videos available. All of the products that I've used for today's video are listed in the description below. You can also find a picture project list over on my blog if you find that easier. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.